From Connecticut's newsroom, now Fox Connecticut News at 11. Thanks for joining us. We're following a developing story from Norwich tonight where police are still surrounding a Cedar Street home. An armed man's been barricaded inside for over eight hours and a police officer was shot. Fox Connecticut's Bo Berman joins us live now. He's got the latest. Bo, what's up? Yeah, Brent Allison, this situation is ongoing. We're now into the eighth hour. It's been about eight and a half hours since this all started. About 2.45 this afternoon, police get a 911 call that a despondent suicidal man is inside an apartment complex that's right up the street here behind me. You can't see it from this angle. They've got us a couple hundred yards back for safety reasons, and that's because earlier today he fired at an officer who was shot multiple times. Tonight, he's alive. He's in critical condition, but his uh, comrades are out here tonight still dealing with this standoff situation. In fact, I I just talked to a police officer a moment ago who was armed with a semi-automatic rifle and I asked him, I said, hey, is that man still inside? Is this still ongoing? He confirmed, yes, it is. They've been dealing with this for hours. Residents have been evacuated. We talked to everyone earlier today about how this unfolded. A man with a mission to die engaged in a standoff with Norwich police and Connecticut State Police for more than six hours Monday, shooting Norwich officer Jonathan Lay multiple times. I heard gun firing. And we got really scared, and so my mom told me to back away from the window. 14-year-old Cedar Glen apartment resident Taya Norman watched as Officer Lay was pulled from the complex and rushed to Yale New Haven Hospital, where he's listed in critical condition tonight. Um, I seen a cop get drugged by the SWAT team, that he was injured and he was on the ground. Well, he got shot in the neck, shoulder, leg. But unexpectedly, her father watched as Taya ended up in an ambulance called to the scene after she witnessed the carnage. Yeah, she gets uh, stress seizures and that threw her into a seizure, so therefore we had to call the ambulance again and uh, the cops got her to a safe place so that EMTs can pick her up. Back at the scene, state police snipers and tactical team members rushed towards the complex, where witnesses say their neighbor opened fire at police from Building D. Norwich police say the man in question wanted to commit suicide by cop. It was about an hour after police arrived at the scene and had it surrounded that Officer Lay was shot. When the uh, all the gunshots started going off at once, everybody in the office ran. We was in the office and we just like we just didn't know what to do, ran because my uh, grandbaby was in there and she's six months old. Norwich police officers were in New Haven tonight supporting Officer Lay at the hospital while their comrades continued working the scene on Cedar Street. One woman who lives three doors down from the shooting suspect says she's seen him on the porch smoking with a pregnant woman and child but has never spoken with them directly. Other complex residents still shaken up from the gunfire were taken to an area shelter. No, I heard multiple gunshots, like 20. It sounded like it came from a, a rifle or some sort. Scary? Yeah, my heart nearly jumped out of my throat. Taya's father, Steve, says that after hours of uncertainty and bloodshed, he's just hoping for the best possible outcome for all. I hope he's surrendering, everybody's safe, and uh, praying for the officer that was, hot, that was shot, and uh, let us go back home. Yeah. Now, while this shooting suspect asked police or essentially expressed his desire to be shot by police officers, of course, that's the last thing the Norwich Police Department or Connecticut State Police want to see happen. They brought in negotiators. They've been working, obviously, for hours on this, surrounding the place, trying to make, trying to make sure everyone makes it out of here safe. Now, at about 10.15 tonight, we were standing here and heard what sounded, sure did sound like, a gunshot. I talked to police officers about that. Some of them told me, Hey, I didn't hear anything. I don't know what, you know what to take from that. Another one said that it was not a gunshot, so we're unsure of it, but it was very loud. It certainly sounded like that. They did confirm, though, that this is still ongoing tonight, and it, going into its ninth hour, it appears here, as we get to about 11.30 this evening. The good news is, though, it appears that Officer Lay is still in critical condition, so he, he did make it. He is surviving at this point. Keep you updated on his condition at ctnow.com. For now, reporting live in Norwich, Bo Berman, Fox, Connecticut.